We've got, we're like going back in time, you know? Um, many of you know I started a super training gym 2010, 2011, something like that. And it was at a location called Midtown Strength here in Sacramento. Welcome to the video, Sound Mike. Um, one of those, that gym at the time was one of the most unique situations in, in hindsight, I think, ever that's been in strength and conditioning. Um, we had a really high level weightlifting coach, Ben Clairdad, Occam Athletics, who you guys see me training with now. He was a coach there and a high level lifter. Super training was in the building. Um, my buddy Amadeo was in the building, who trains numerous UFC fighters, Joseph Benavidez, um, Danny Castillo, Chad Mendez, Cody No Love, uh, a bunch of guys. If you're into the UFC, you've probably heard of those names. And then my boy Abs, uh, Brian Washington, um, was there. And uh, Brian's one of the uh, most energetic, most, how do you say this, magnetic uh, personalities uh, around. So like, he just gets you to want to work hard. He's fun to talk about. Me and him, we used to play basketball. We'd go to the park and play basketball together. But he was there as a strength and conditioning coach. And so um, my boy Chris, shout out to Chris who cuts my hair, hit me up and said, uh, this dude, Vince Murdoch, who's a local UFC fighter, is holding um, a class at All City Riders, which is a local place for cycling. A uh, cycling class with a little bit of spunk, a little bit of uh, energy, a little bit of attitude. And I knew my boy Abs, uh, Brian, was open that, but I didn't know he was going to be the coach this morning. So uh, typically we squat at 11 o'clock at Allen's. It's 11 right now. We're late. But uh, 9 o'clock, little cycling class. And this is kind of what I'm about right now. I'm about feeling good. I'm about having fun. Um, still on that weight loss journey, still uh, trying to squat heavy, bench heavy, do some cleans with Ben. So Ben's going to meet us at Allen's. My boy Marcus, Filipino Thunder, is going to be there. We got Kyle, Kai in the house. Hi. <laughs> if you guys <laughs> watch any Twitch, this is the guy I'm playing with. And uh, time to go squat. So it felt really good. An hour cycling warm up. I went hard, but not too hard because I do want to squat, although I'm considering this a deload day um, because I did an hour long cycling class before. But uh, feel good. My stomach hurts a little bit because I was a lot of conditioning for 9 o'clock in the morning. Some water, a little bit more caffeine, uh, time to squat, but uh, the grind continues, boys. I'm no record holding power lifter, and I'm no Lance Armstrong bike rider, but uh, I'm having fun, and I'm feeling good, and that's, that's goal number one. So, you boys ready to rock? Planned around that thing, so I've been going uh, layered up two weeks, three weeks in a row 455, 475, 485. I'll take half a step back, try to hit 455 or something today. Some down triples, heaviest squats Monday with Ben, so uh, one day off in between that. Bench, move on.
feels heavy, moves good. Like I said, I'm kind of waving um, with my heavy singles. I'll use an RP in my head, but basically I can just use numbers too. So I did 485, I did like 465, 475, 485, three weeks in a row. And I'm gonna drop back down around 465, which is this, and then uh, ramp it back up going heavier next week. So call it a deload, call it just a wave. Call me crazy, kiss me, baby. Kiss me, maybe? Call me, maybe? I don't care what you call it, but that's how we're doing it. That's how we're scheming the heavy singles. Probably do the same on bench. I had 3, 15, 25, 3, 35, so I'll hit 3, 25, 3, 15 this week, and then we'll go heavier the next time. So I'll end the wave at 500 next time on squats, and then at like 350 on bench. Thank you. 